toilets are one of the marvels of the world. While you might not think so, they allow most of humanity to never have to think about their waste. You might not think much about the toilet in your house, but you'd certainly think twice if you didn't have one there. But how do these porcelain thrones actually work? While toilet designs differ around the world, they all function off of the same principles. A tank of water, or stream of water in a pipe, is used to flush away waste down a drain. Inside the tank, there are two main valves, the fill valve and the flush valve. The fill valve tells the toilet to fill, and the flush valve lets the water into the toilet bowl to do all of the heavy lifting. Generally, the fill valve is controlled by a bobber or some buoyant mechanism. Since it floats, when there isn't water in the tank, it sinks down and turns the fill valve on. Then the tank fills with water and eventually the bobber floats up enough to turn the fill valve off. But now what? The tank can automatically fill itself thanks to the bobber and fill valve, but how does flushing a toilet work? Well, that all has to do with the tank lever, or the handle on the outside, and the flush valve. The flush valve is simple. It's a flapper or seal on the bottom of the tank that keeps the water in the tank when it's not activated. Once you pull the tank lever to flush, it pulls the seal up and the seal is broken, and all of the water in the tank flows down into the bowl through the opening. Once the water has left the tank, gravity pulls the flush valve down, resealing the tank, and since the bobber has now sunk down too, the fill valve gets activated and the tank starts refilling. So that's how the tank works, but how does dumping a bunch of water into a toilet cause it to flush? Well, that has to do with some clever pipe design. The hole at the bottom of the bowl leads into an upside down U-shaped pipe. Normally, the water in the bowl isn't enough to go over the U-shape. However, once the tank is emptied into the bowl, the water level gets high enough to push the water in the U-bend over the other side, creating a siphon. The water then falls down on the other side, pulling the rest of the water in the bowl with it. Eventually, all of the waste is drained and new water refills the bowl up to the bottom of the U-bend. When toilets get clogged, it's a simple stoppage in the U-bend that keeps water from siphoning out the bowl. Using a plunger pushes that clog through, allowing the water to leave the bowl. So that's how toilets work. The tank is just two simple valves, and the bowl is some cleverly designed pipe geometry. It's a wonder something so simple can be so crucial to modern civilized life.